Hey guys, Jamie here once again with Originality AI. Originality AI was built for content publishers to help you guys distinguish between AI written content and human written content. It's also created as a plagiarism checker. Welcome back to our tutorial series where I'll be taking you all the way from signing up to using our API. So in this episode, we're gonna be discussing using our API access. So here I am just on the dashboard. All I need to do is head over to API access down here I'm just going to generate a new key. Now once we've generated a new key, it's going to say active. We can easily disable it here. And this is our documentation here. So it's just guiding us through explaining the endpoint. So this is our main endpoint, the rate limit. So now we get into actually using the finished endpoints. So to get the credit balance, we need to go account credits balance, and that's going to give us a response. Content scan usage, once again, this is actually going to give us an array of um, scan usages. And then payments here is also going to be an array. Then the other two options we have are AI detection. So this is a post request to scan AI. And we're going to enter our content as part of our body. And that's going to give us a nice response here. And also finally, we have the URL AI detection and that's gonna give us a response. So I've just built a small JavaScript application where I can demonstrate using this API. So here is just a simple UI that I've created to help demonstrate the application and the usability of our API. So here I'm just gonna click on fetch user data and that's gonna invoke all of the functions created to fetch the account data. So if I click on it here, it's telling me my balance is 8,056 and I've just selected five of the credit usages. Up here we have our URL check. So if we click on that there, that's just gonna tell us the URL and the overall score that it's giving us and the credits used. And finally, we just have the text here and that's just gonna give us the result of the entered text here. So let me show you guys what's going on behind the scenes. So as we're taking a look behind the scenes here, we can see that I'm just using the fetch method to make a request to our endpoints using the method of get and our, my API key, which is at the top here. Obviously, traditionally, you'd have this in a .env file, but just for this example. As we scroll down, so we have the fetch balance, the fetch credit usage, all to the different endpoints here. And these are just get requests. And then we move on to the handle AI check. So this is just the post request, um, content type application JSON, and I've just stringified my request data, taking that request data from the text area. Then finally handling the URL check. So that's again, just taking that string from the input and entering it into our request data here. So when we're making a request on the URL, we just wanna make sure that our key is URL so that our API will understand exactly what you're looking for. And then the same with the handle AI check, it has to be content as your key. And finally, what I'll show you here is I actually logged everything to the console. So if I just reload this page, fetch user data, check the URL, and check content. Then we have a look at our dev tools. So the balance is gonna return an object with just a single key. Same goes for the usage, that's gonna be an array. So inside here, if we have a look at that, that's all of the response data. And I haven't made any payments, but traditionally the payments would be in here. And then if we take a look at the URL check, this is gonna be the response here. So you have the credits, the credits used, the results, um, we have the results of each of the pages that we're checking and the total AI results, the score and the score breakdown. So it's gonna give us the text that it's given the scores to. And on the AI check here, similar thing. So we've got the content, credits used, so credits and credits used, and then our scores here. And also the title of that API scan. Anyway, I hope that helped. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you when I see you.